Rich. We're joined now by Senator Tim Kaine, the Democratic vice presidential nominee. Senator, good morning. Good to see you. Matt, great to be back with you. Thanks. All right. So you know what the headlines are this morning. Donald Trump in that debate last yeah. night refusing to pledge that he will accept the results of this election on November 8th, even though many of his surrogates and his own running mate have said, yes, they will accept the results. And Donald Trump himself three weeks ago said he would absolutely accept the results. Which Donald Trump do you believe? Well, I think last night's Donald Trump was the real Donald Trump. It was on display for everybody. And, and Matt, uh, it, that was the most shocking uh, moment of the night. There were a couple of other big shockers, but uh, I, I lived in Honduras as a missionary 35 years ago, and it was a military dictatorship. Nobody could vote for president. And boy, I really learned something. Accepting the outcome of elections and then the peaceful transfer of power is a bedrock pillar of our nation's history and something that we do and take for granted. But many nations around the world, they can't do it. We should not have somebody running for president who is going to try to pull the pillar down, which Donald Trump was basically trying to do last think, night. And I think about... I think his surrogates immediately knew that would dominate the headlines this morning. And so they tried right. to immediately put it in context. And here was their argument. They're saying, let's go back to 2000 and that extremely controversial election between Al Gore and George W. Bush. And Al Gore challenged the results all the way to the Supreme Court. They have a candidate who's already said they think that he thinks this election is rigged. So their, I guess their stance is, why should we already accept the results until we see them and look for any irregularities? Well, um, and Al Gore did in a very gracious way that was very patriotic accept the results once the, once the court process was complete. But all along the way, he did it in a respectful tone. Did Al Gore ever say things were rigged? Did he use that kind of language? Absolutely not. He, he availed himself of, of legal processes that are fair, but this pre-election whining of Donald Trump that Hillary called him on, she said, look, the issue is this. You don't accept responsibility for anything. When you lose the Emmys, you have to claim that there were some cabal conspiring against you. And, and that, Matt, gets into a deeper personality trait that is very, very dangerous. I think of, you know, our military deployed overseas. I got a boy deployed overseas now. They've got to take a command from the commander in chief and they have to execute on it. But the commander in chief has to take a command from the American public. And when you look at voters and say, sorry guys, I right. may not accept uh, the, your opinions, you're basically dissing your own bosses, the American public. And I don't think voters like being insulted. Your campaign has been rocked by a steady stream of leaked emails of late. And if you believe that the Russians are behind it and our intelligence agencies believe just that. And if you believe Hillary Clinton, that the Russians are behind it so they can swing this election in the favor of Donald Trump, wouldn't you also have to believe that the Russians would then save the best or, depending on your perspective, the worst for last and they might have some sort of late October, early November surprise in store? Matt, Matt, I have no way of uh, reading that, uh, that psychology. I mean, I do know this. Millions of people have already voted. I mean, their voting is going on. I'm in North Carolina today. Early vote starts today. Uh, and so that, uh, that's happening all over the country. But look, that was an interesting exchange last night because, uh, you know, Hillary pointed out what our intelligence officials have confirmed, that Russia is trying to influence the election. And again and again and again, Donald would not admit that. Well, if anybody's trying to do it, that's wrong. But he kept kind of going to the defense of Russia at the same time as he wouldn't defend our democratic traditions and the results of an electoral mandate. It was extremely odd and um, you know that's just one more reason why people need to turn out uh, in droves because we need to send a message to anybody outside this country who thinks they can influence an election that you better not mess around with our electoral democratic process. Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine. Senator, thank you for your time this morning. Absolutely, Matt. Gra glad to be with you. All right. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.